I think if you're watching this channel and you're watching this video, you would probably agree that Squad Busters is a fun game to play. Now, what makes it a more fun game to play is when you're actually winning. So today's video is going to be all about tips and tricks, some of them basic, some of them um, we can dive into a little bit deeper, but tips and tricks to win more because if you're not winning in this game, it's not nearly as much fun. So if you enjoy the video and you find the uh, the tips help you out, I do appreciate it if you throw in that code chicken in the shop. It does help to support the channel. Uh, we got some freebies in the shop. Let's grab these little baby primos. And let's grab these Dr. Dr. T's. Ooh, actually I think we're gonna go with the Mortis because I think we can upgrade him if we do that. And Mortis is probably a little bit better than Dr. T, if I'm being honest. I know I'm biased, being the Boom Beach guy, but um, yeah, the evolutions are hard to pass up. So there we go. That was pretty cool. Um, we also got a Jesse. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, we got a chest over. Nice. Um, so yeah, let's get into it, guys. Let's get in. We're just gonna get into the straight matches. Let's take a look at our uh, roll here. Heavy Trader Shelly, Goblin Greg. That's not bad. Nice was Penny and Medic. Dynamite Hog Rider, that's kind of meh. Dr. T, Royal King, Mortis, Max, Witch. As long as the Witch is in rotation, um, I'm happy with that. So let's uh, let's get into this. So the first um, the first tip. Now it's it's obvious, but you got to make a conscious decision that you're doing this each and every single time. You got to pick the right troop at the very beginning. So for us, we're actually going to start with Greg here because I saw there was a lot of trees. So that's going to allow us to get a lot of loot right at the beginning. And what's the most important thing in Squad Busters is getting off to a good start. That's really the only thing that matters. Um, now that bow is in our way. He took our chest, but that's fine for right now. Now we can go over here and I'm going to go with a heavy because I need somebody that can attack right away, right now. We, we're already a little bit behind. Um, we got a lot of loot, which is good. And, you know, really, you just want to focus on farming. But what am I doing now? Why did I pick the heavy that time? Um, the most important thing to do after you know that you've picked the right characters is to make sure that you fuse them. Now, I didn't fuse Greg because I'm only using Greg to get trees at the very beginning. Now we can use troops like the Trader um, to really just maximize on our efforts. But it depends, right? It's not always an easy decision, but as long as you're actively thinking the whole time uh, of why you're choosing characters, do you have an actual strategy of why you're picking them? It, like, is there a reason for it is kind of what I'm getting at. Um, you know, then you're gonna be way better off. Uh, let's go Trader, because we got the Trader last time. And you know, if you just start unlocking stuff or opening things kind of blindly, then it doesn't really make sense, right? So let's start to move around because we need to get, uh, we need to start killing more monsters. Now, that goes into my next point, is you need to be constantly attacking stuff. You need to be constantly moving. You can't just stay in the same spot the whole time. We're, we've only been able to pick um, the same like couple characters really um, but you want to always be moving and you want to always be killing stuff because if you're not doing that you're not getting enough gems uh, let's go hog rider I could use some more speed okay and you see with the trader traders always a good choice because he really benefits every strategy um, especially if you're doing kind of like a slower um, farming uh, strategy like we're doing like a, it's a little bit more resourceful than attacking and notice that we haven't actually attacked anyone yet and yeah but the things we want to focus on early on are just getting chests right once we've done that once we've got enough chests then we really want to shift our focus to killing either really weak teams or moving on to stronger monsters that's a little bit different in this match because we've got all the pinata buckets everywhere we can kind of just keep hitting those really quickly um, but you'll see now as we get in towards the middle of the match um, we're going to need more heavy hitting troops or troops with good special abilities for fighting and um, the players that are starting to do that and attack the weaker teams are really starting to get the benefits so now we just really want to beef up our team 
We want to continue gaining resources, continue moving, continue attacking. We're pretty well good to take on um, another team at this point. Um, unless they're, you know, really, really super strong. That should be a hog fusion. Perfect. Um, and that's really how we want to focus on. That's really how we want to just kind of move throughout. Okay, we got two witches now. And again, picking the same troops, the same, um, the same idea from the very beginning. And now we can start to fight these bigger monsters, which is, you know, the idea. We don't necessarily need to fight another team if we don't have to. Um, but let's go like this. We should absolutely destroy this guy. We're looking pretty strong for right now. Now we're going to lose a lot of gems here. But let's see if we can get this barbarian down. Uh, okay, he's, he's got 87 gems. I mean, if we can take him, we'll be sitting pretty. The spikes might help us here. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I think he killed me too before I... Man, 255, we wouldn't have got first place if we had two or three more seconds there, but that's the fun with Squad Busters too, is you never know. Now, what's the takeaway from all that? There's a lot of, you know, words as we were talking, but you just got to focus on some of the stuff as you're playing, because if you're not and you're just playing kind of randomly... Um, or you're playing like what well, I like to call on autopilot. You're just running around having fun and attacking whoever gets close to you That's when you make mistakes So if you have a conscious effort to actually think about picking the right characters Focusing on fusing those characters that you did pick uh, Prioritizing gems by running around attacking killing a lot of monsters killing a lot of boxes moving on to killing teams um, and just Having a plan in general because if you don't have a plan, then you're probably going to have a bad time. So, let's grab some of our weeklies here. And, yeah, that worked out pretty well. That worked out pretty well. Um, I probably should have gone harder on that fight at the very end. I think if I moved around a little bit more, I kind of got stuck with, like, a monster behind me as the other guy's entire team was in front of us. Um, so that was a little bit annoying. But it happens. It happens. I mean, it's not only just about doing the stuff. You also have to execute at the same time. It it's, can be harder to play this game as I'm trying to go over my list here of stuff. But, um, yeah, that, that's, the, that's the general idea is make sure that you have plans, that they make sense. You know, stick to whatever you're doing. Just because, you know, maybe you unlocked a troop at the beginning that you didn't mean to, you're still probably going to be better off to get a fusion of him unless there's, like much much stronger options like if you picked um you know one of the weaker characters in the game and then you get like an archer queen on the next chest it's like okay yeah at that point go for the archer queen but you know some of the stuff is common sense but uh yeah so i hope that helps you out let me know what you think and if you got more tips let me know uh what they are or what you would add to this list down below in the comments so other people see it and help them out so if you just want to see more squad busters videos make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you next one, guys. Check it out. Bear, bear.